This week's tip is all about communication directly with each and every vendor. I was doing a destination wedding in North Carolina at a very reputable venue and a very beautiful venue that was very, very well known for doing high-end weddings. And I trusted that venue with all of the communication with their partners that they partner with to do weddings there. One of them being the lighting vendor. I'm a little bit of a lighting freak. I wanna make sure that the lighting is not only perfect for my, what my client wants, but that the lighting is perfect from a photographer and a videographer's standpoint. So we did a site visit about six months before this event, before this wedding and there were string lights in an existing tent. And this tent at the venue could not be taken down. It didn't matter if it was sun shining all week long. It was an existing tent and it had to be that way. And that was fine, but my client said, I really do not want string lights. That's not at all the look and feel that we are going for. And she had seen those string lights in a certain design from a previous wedding when we were there again, six months before the wedding. So we got there on the wedding weekend for her and I went the day before and the string lights were still up, but they were not only in a different design, but in a completely horrible design that I knew she would hate. And it just looked like they were all knotted and it just really did not go with her theme at all. And so I had asked my contact at the venue to please contact the lighting company to have them taken down. She said she would. Next day comes, wedding day comes, I go back up to the tent, lights are still there. And when I asked for the lighting contact directly because they weren't on site yet, no one, were, no one would respond to me. So finally when someone from the lighting company did show up and immediately, you know, I was like watching like a hawk for him, I asked him, why are these string lights still hanging up? And he said, I never was, asked to take them down and there's no way we can take them down because we don't have a lift or a ladder tall enough to take them down. So then I had learned that the person that I had trusted to communicate what my client wanted did not communicate or maybe she did and they never received the information but it taught me a very valuable lesson don't rely on other people. Make sure that you or someone from your team is following up and following through with all of the details that your client wants. So since we couldn't take the lights down, I thought, let's just plug them in and see what they look like. And unfortunately, the lights wouldn't even work. The breaker, something was wrong with the plug, and the lights wouldn't even work. So in all of my bride's pictures, we have these ugly string lights that look like a complete mess that she didn't want in, a, in the first place. And so I told the photographer and the videographer, please try to avoid getting these string lights in all of her pictures. And fortunately, she was a very laid back client. She understood that there was some miscommunication. And again, I felt horrible for not taking ownership and communicating directly with the vendor myself. But she said, you know what? That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is I'm getting married today. I'm marrying my best friend and that's all I really care about. Thank God she was so cool about it. But not all of my clients are like that. So be sure that you have really good communication with the vendors, even when they work for the venue or partner with the venue, you always want to make sure that you're communicating your client's expectations directly to that vendor. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.